Hello everybody, Paul Rose here and uh, welcome to this, my first uh, demo or review or insight, whatever you want to call it, into Acoustica Audio plugins, um, which I think are fantastic and I've used them for a few years now and I've talked about them on my streams and on my Facebook page and Acoustica Audio contacted me, presumably having seen these um, these mentions and they've uh, asked me to to do some demos for the want of a better term of phrase I'd say just you know a bit of an insight into how I'm using them and so I'm very flattered and excited and pleased and uh, this is going to be the first of about four or five as a plan and I thought I would start with um, I thought I would start with the project that I'm uh, mixing this is a song by my brother and um, it's an acoustic song. It's quite a simple arrangement, but it's a, it's a nice song and it's uh, it's nice and clear. And uh, so hopefully we can um, just bring my picture into that. Okay, so you see me, so we can hear what's going on. Okay, so basically, what we've got is a double tracked acoustic guitars. So first of all, I'm using uh, the black guru plugin now what this does is first and foremost it gives a uh, a preamp flavor these square boxes these buttons here you uh, go through these different boxes and uh, they give you a different mic preamp flavor uh, if you go onto the the acoustic or audio site it gives you a very detailed uh, explanation of what each one does what this level does here what this is about basically if a if a, a, a recording needs to be like minus 18 okay a digital recording needs to be minus 18 so what you can do with this control here I'll just solo this acoustic go back to the beginning So, with this control here, I can basically get that into the optimal. If I put it at zero, that's where it was recorded. Fractionally hot, not much, but I've just pulled it back a little bit. So now you know that whatever comes out of this, um, this instrument is now going to reach all. Um, this instrument is now going to reach all f subsequent plugins. Optimal. It's going to be just what you need for those plugins to operate um, fully. So that's all I do on the actual track. Okay. So basically, I can freeze that, just switch that off, and. Uh, and so that plugin is now recorded, deactivated, and so it's a double tracked acoustic guitar. So I've done the same here. So those two tracks, um, we can more or less uh, hide those now, actually. So we'll just hide those two acoustic guitars there. Now we have this um, group, those two acoustics are going into a group. And in that group, I have sand which is my favorite plugin of all time um we can't name names but it's an english plugin um it's an english console from oxford and uh, it's beautiful so basically what i've got is i have the two acoustic guitars going through this sand plugin Let's have a listen to this. So, bit of boost on the top, tiny little bit of boost on the uh, high mids, pulled back a little bit of low mids. Tiny little boost on the lows. Uh, and we've got the compressor working here. 
very subtle. So yeah, it's just jumping there, that, that uh, it's just taking the tops off, that's all you want. Beautiful. Okay. So let's have a look, at, let's have a listen to the acoustic there. Ah, now let's see. Yeah, let's listen to the vocal with the acoustic. And again, I'm using sand, of course, on the vocal. Right, okay, so let's have a look. Using the Black Guru, once again, to get the optimal vocal level. Uh, I'm using the Ultramarine for a little bit of compression, just a tiny little bit. And then I'm using the Sandy Q. Oh, this is the best stuff out there, I'm telling you. Okay, we're all entitled to our opinions and people feel differently about different things. Bad luck and trouble have been my only friends. Okay, so. But they've stood by me, so I stick with them. So I've got, uh, I've got the level pulled back so that it's just topping out at about minus 18. And I've got a little bit of a high pass filter on to take out some of the rumble. Possibly take that up a little bit, you won't hear the difference. So now what's coming out of this Black Guru we know is going to reach the beautiful Ultramarine 4 um, compressor. Through thick and thin, they've always been there. Now again, I'm only just a tiny bit of compression. I stay away from thugs and drugs. I think it's I think it's fair to say you know with with the quality of these plugins, um, the way that they've designed them and sampled them based on the original hardware, that even just putting a signal through this um, without actually affecting it, you're going to get a flavour of that. Uh, you're going to get a flavour of that hardware, and so so individual compression on individual tracks at an absolute minimum and then as you see at the end on the outbus uh, i've got a little bit so rather than compressing one thing massively compress everything just a tiny little bit I never cross on anyone i follow on the call see that meter's just so ask me no question just jumping back a little bit i'll tell you no lie so it's, it's just taking the it's just taking the top off. It's just leveling it out beautifully, you know. And then we have we have the um, we have the sand EQ as well, of course. It's criminal. Life just suits me fine. So. Um, bit of top end boost. Uh, mid frequencies, uh, low mids, high mids, I beg your pardon, high mids, kind of flat. Uh, tiny little bit of low taken out. And uh, mid low, sorry. And uh, the low is just flat. Yeah, this criminal life just suits me fine. Former president of the USA. Okay, so there's your vocal and your acoustic guitar. That's the, that's the the bear, that's the the, the, the backbone of the song. So here, uh, bring a bit of bass in here, and I'm using the graphite bass plugin, which is an absolute. I've just I've just downloaded this this morning for this project. Actually, beautiful stuff. Criminal. Life just suits me fine. Yeah, this no Life just suits me fine. So all I've basically done with this um, plugin is, is I've just selected a preset, which was uh, finger less is more. Uh, and I've uh, I've put the bright on. I've adjusted the volumes a little bit, uh, and uh, that's basically the preset. Less is more. 
and it just immediately sounded fantastic you know so what we've also got um we have the telecaster let's see what's happening with the telecaster ladies and gentlemen so i'm using a guitar amp simulator and i'm using the um smoke comp compressor just a tiny bit again you know you see that meter just going back a little bit there let's just have a slug of coffee yeah so just a bit of color from the telly it's all just a witch hunt refers you to his legal team And again, uh, smoke comp. I have this kind of country Telecaster here um, with a tremolo on. It's like a, a Fender ramp kind of sound. Where's it gone? It's just sparse. There it is, you see. Now this beautiful reverb that you're hearing is coming from Silver. This is quite simply the best reverb on the market that I've heard. Of course we're all entitled to our opinions. Um, these are samples. I'm, I'm no technician. I'm a musician. I'm a producer. Uh, sort of a producer. Uh, and and I just I just know what I he, when, when I hear something that's good, I know it, and this is good, uh, and and I'm I'm going to do a standalone video on this plugin alone, um, soon, in the next couple of days. Now that the system's set up, uh, I've I've been ready to I've been meaning to do these 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 features, for a long time. Apologise to Acoustic or Audio for the time it took. It's just I'm very busy with other things, but I absolutely thrilled to be invited and this is just glorious okay so i'm not going to go into it just yet because i'm going to do a standalone feature on this but the quality of this reverb is just superb And finally, uh, on the output bus, I have the Ultramarine once again. Absolutely delightful. You see, that's just going back a little bit. See this thing that I was saying about you, you, there's only the smallest amount of compression on individual tracks, and then you're going to compress the output bus. So the smallest amount, just nothing's getting squashed. It's just being controlled. And... Um, this is my go-to, this Ultramarine 4. It's absolutely wonderful. Uh, well, I mean, they're all wonderful, you know. And then I've got the purple. Uh, kind of kind of a mastering thing in the low end, in the top end. So, um, and that's it, basically. Um, so I hope that's been fun and I hope that's been interesting. I, uh, I will now play the entire track and um and so you can hear how it goes i'll knock my camera off of course <laughs> and we can listen to the track so thanks very much everybody this is my brother's music david rose uh, it's called criminal life and it's about the people who run the planet uh, <laughs> and we're all very well we're not going to get into that 
So, okay, um, I'm going to switch my camera off and I'm going to play the track and I'll see you on the next Acoustica Rodeo demo, which will be coming soon. Uh, thank you very much to the guys at Acoustica. I'm going to do some guitar stuff. I'm going to do some acoustic guitar stuff. I'm going to, I'm going to make an amplifier and uh, in my forthcoming Acoustica. I'm going to make a couple of amps, a Fender amp and a Marshall amp. We're going to use some reverbs and some delays and some compression. Uh, I'm going to do some acoustic stuff and I'm going to do some piano stuff with my friend Paul Wilson. So that's, uh, that's that for now. Okay, let's listen to the song. Thank you very much for tuning in and I hope you like the music. See you next time. Bye bye. Redemption, cause they have exemption. 